is the general superintendent of Wesleyan Church and founder of World Hope International. Please join me. Thank you. The Wesleyan Church has its roots in the abolitionist movement and likewise is taking a stand on immigration today as it has it historically. Immigration issues rose to the surface in the Wesleyan Church as we began to see people coming from other countries that had been in our churches, particularly in Latin America, coming to the States. We welcomed them. They're our brothers and sisters. And then as, as uh, congregations grew, we began to realize issues regarding immigration. I find it interesting that in 1986, thousands of people were allowed to come to the United States uh, to work. Uh, and with some kind of a vague promise that this would um, move on into pathways to citizenship. Uh, and this was understood. And now I'm meeting those families today. Those families who have purchased homes, educated their children, have paid taxes. Yes, their immigration status is, has, uh, has, uh, is no longer. Uh, and uh, they're now considered undocumented. I found it interesting also in the state of Indiana a few years ago, two or three years ago, they went, the government went through looking for driver's license and uh, found out they didn't match social security cards. And as a result, roughly around 130,000 people were told that they no longer could uh, drive cars. And now what's happening literally in the city of Indianapolis and surrounding areas, they're trying to match license plates is what they're looking for and it's resulting directly in racial profiling. These are our Christian brothers and sisters. Again, people who own homes, people who pay taxes. We're finding, of course, issues regarding uh, trying to get citizenship and, and uh, upgrade uh, visa status and so forth, almost impossible when it comes to lawyers' fees. All of this becomes a huge quagmire of people who Yes, escaped poverty. We all want a better life for our families and for our children. Escaped poverty. And now I'm finding that as uh, uh, people come into these areas, we found just in the last few weeks, fathers who've been deported back and families split, mothers and children left. This does not come not only to our biblical value, but also our national value of family life. This, this particular issue is breaking up, the, as has been said earlier, the very fabric of our nation's values. I call on Congress and I call on the President to take leadership in this. And also, as far as the church is concerned, we have a position paper. If you go to wesleyan.org, you'll find the position paper, very strong position paper from the Wesleyan Church really following what we believe Jesus taught, love your neighbor as yourself, and care for the, for the uh, alien, care for the stranger. This is what Jesus taught us, and I believe those are values upon which our country has been founded, and we need to follow those. And uh, as far as the church is concerned, we're, we're prepared to help in any way we can for people to find pathways of citizenship. In fact, we're organizing a whole group of lawyers to get pro bono work from them, and that's a real thing for lawyers to do, isn't it? Uh, uh, that we can get this and really be the people that God has called us to be.